Hey coach, it's Reverend Ron Gilock here with Christ Center Coaching and today I'm going to show you how to set up one-time payments and reoccurring monthly payments for your coaching business. So whether your clients want to pay a one-time for a package or pay monthly, you'll know exactly how to get paid and make the whole thing automated and flawless. So you're going to love this video. Ron here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a one-time payment and reoccurring monthly payments for your coaching business to uh, invoice your your clients um, I'll show you how they can do this automatically so you never have to hassle them or deal with reminders or worry about having to uh, get paid ever again so I'm using a free app called wave financial and uh, it is free but they do charge a small transaction fee every time you do get paid so um, which is pretty standard it's uh, you know three percent plus 30 cents per transaction which is extremely comparable and on par with uh, most other payment processors so um, when you open up wave I'm on this tab called the launch pad and I can either you know click professional invoicing here or I can go over here to sales and go to invoices there um, so I'll click professional invoicing and I have a bunch of different options here but today I want to create uh, an invoice so let's hit let's go and from here I can put my logo I can put pick colors um, and I could skip this if I want um, and just update it by going to settings but this looks good so let's keep it going here and so here's my invoice I'll show you how to set up recurring payments first you're gonna click add a customer um, so if you don't have any customers in there you'll click create a new customer and you're gonna put their you know name and email that's the minimum two things that you need there if you got other stuff like billing shipping etc that stuff's good to put in there too but not needed just their name for a minimum of this so um, I got one existing in here so I'll add my test account then you're gonna add your coaching uh, package so uh, if you don't have one in here already you can click create a new item enter the name of the item here so coaching uh, package Kelly's killer coaching package um, you know the three month program and uh, that's gonna be a thousand dollars a month for three months um, see this little thing on the bottom here require customer to agree to terms of service before paying by credit card that's optional um, you know you can put it on there and put your own terms of service on there if you want like a refund policy or something um, but not necessary not required um, that parts up to you so we'll click save and continue okay I'm gonna click approve draft and now I can uh, send it here um, or I can um, get a share link and right now this is a one-time invoice however I can go here to more actions and select make recurring so now my invoice is recurring and I'm gonna set it to um, it says create first invoice here. Here's our schedule. I'm going to pick today's date the 8th and uh, It's going to end in you know three months. So let's go so five six seven and Let's make it end the day after Just to make sure we get that last billing in there It says repeat this invoice monthly on the first day of each month now I want it to go on the same day. I'm going to pick the 8th of each month. Then I'll click next. So now it's sent it's set up to send on the 8th of each month. And if I have the credit card details, it's best to just enter enter them in there 
right here on your screen and I suggest that you that you collect that information while you're on the Zoom call or on the phone call with your client. You'll hit save card and then you're good to go with automatic payments. If um, you don't have that, you can do request a credit card and uh, they'll get an email with the invoice and have the option to pay right there and check a little box that says um, you know save my card detail for future payments so you can put a custom email message in there um, once you hit next this is going to be the email that gets sent to them you know hey uh, hey Susie uh, can't wait to start and I like to attach a PDF here as well and just look over it one more time. Okay, looks good to me. I'm going to click next and it says you're almost set. Approve and start the recurring invoice. So let me click that blue button and it says boom, you've activated the recurring invoice. Now. I want to make sure that they can indeed pay online. This is a little funky, so let me show you this. Let's go over to invoices and um, let's do all invoices. And I can see here that I just made this one, right? This one at the top. So I'm going to select that and up here at the top it says online payments on. This is not always the case. Sometimes it says off, so you're going to go ahead and want to you know check these things um, here um, bank payment ACH H I think they only charge 1% credit card it charges 3% but you want to give them I suggest giving them the, uh, the both options so now they are good to go they can pay online um, they can um, you know do this automatically and you can also give them a share link if you wanted to get this you can you know get a copy paste uh, share link right here and let me show you what the customer sees when um, we put this in to our browser okay so this is the credit card pre-authorization request um, so they could put in their payment information here and they'll put their name and click pay now and enable auto payment um, and boom they're set up and they'll get automatically uh, billed each time the important step here when you're creating an invoice is to really um, make sure you go back to this main invoices tab this is where everything is whether you're doing a one-time invoice or a reoccurring invoice um, and that's it. That's how you create one-time payments and recurring payments. If you want a kind of a shortcut to the one-time payment, let me show you this real quick. A little bonus, <clears throat> a little bonus section here for you. Checkouts, and uh, then pretty pretty simple. You're going to click create a checkout. What's the product or service you can be selling? Um, you know, you can do. Uh, one-time payment for coaching maybe somebody's buying your three-month uh, program uh, right and instead of you know two thousand dollars a month you give them a little bit of a break and you give it to them for fifty five hundred um, and you can request their phone number or address here if you want that's up to you if you need that information um, it says after successful payment display the following message Congratulations and welcome to the Christ Center Coaching program. So then you just click save and turn on and you're it. That's it. That's good to go. You can click copy to the clipboard here and let me show you what it looks like. And you can use this link anywhere um, over and over again. <clears throat> and this is why I like this option as opposed a little bit differently than opposed to invoicing, because I can just set up this one link and I can use it over and over again. The other option that I showed you in the beginning here, invoicing. Invoicing is really better for reoccurring uh, payments. 
um, but you can do one-time payments with it as well. Um, this process of using this uh, payment link here though um, and doing it this way I think is a much easier shortcut because you can just reuse it over and over and over again. All right, coach, that's it. That's how you do um, one time and reoccurring and use the uh, payment feature as well. Um, you can use this for info products, services, all kind of stuff. So now there's literally uh, no excuse and no way to not be able to get paid for any of your products, services, time, or ideas. So get out there, put yourself out there, start uh, making some coaching offers, uh, and get paid. God bless you, coach, and I'll see you on the next training.